Well, good day, YouTubers. Guess what I got? It is an 83 Honda Goldwing Interstate. They're pretty pimping. Just give me a nice little walk around here right now. A little sore. <laughs> Did a lot of um, a lot of working on trailers and stuff yesterday, so kind of a little wore out. But uh, yeah, amazing paint on this. I don't know if it's showing up with it on the camera, but oh well. So we got a. 1100 cc four-cylinder shaft drive I believe it's a five-speed but uh, so there is a hundred and two thousand nine hundred on here not two thousand uh, it's in pretty good shape like it's got these here the previous owner made these so that his wife didn't fall out of the seat when she fell asleep down the highway um, this is a neat little luggage carrier. Find my keys here. There we go. Just locked it so it didn't come off or whatever. But service repair manual. That'll come in handy. Straps and everything. And, uh, I can't get that back on right. Uh, of course, I have to do that afterwards. But anyhow, down here, there's locks here and there. This whole thing comes off, and you take it into the room with you if you're going on vacation or a trip, whatever. Uh, these guys open, but I don't think there's a single thing in these. Yeah, I always kept them locked because you don't want them coming off going down the highway. Yeah. A lot of nothing in there. I'll have to fix that again afterwards too. So I did get her plated. Uh, believe it or not, being antique status because it's uh, uh, what, 30 years old. $138 for plates and insurance for a whole year. Not a month, a year. Uh, 200,000 liability and everything like that with it though. If I want more, I gotta get it appraised and all that other fun stuff. So, being it's a big bike, I have a tape deck. Yeah, Alpine stereo. And some speakers. I haven't even tried them, I don't really care. But, um, she's a rock. Rocker. Got some uh, pegs, but they'll have to get moved somewhere comfortable. They are supposed to light up and everything, but the wires are kind of messed up to them, but not really what I'm caring about. So, But there you go, my newest investment, and uh, I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I still got to get my show me test done for my learners, and then I can drive this wherever I want. As long as there's no passenger, no trailer, even though it has a hitch. And during daylight hours, so yeah, I should have turned this off, I guess, earlier. Oh, well, I'm not gonna try starting up right now, uh, it's kind of loud, I don't want to piss off the neighbors, but uh, there we go. Um, one of the things for these gold wings, these aren't fuel tanks, your fillers in here, and that is storage. Gas tank is actually underneath the seat here, back up to the back wheel, it's all down there. And, um, I kind of should get on using this tank here. Oh, it doesn't say. <clears throat> I think I got three quarters of a tank. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there it's coming to life now. But, uh, Gas and things about five years old. The stabilizer, of course. So it stinks. Yeah, I'd say at least half a tank in there. So I gotta get some practice into that and get it uh, used up, and then it'll be all good. Um, 
the cruise control. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, chokes up here, nice turn signals and everything. So there we go. So until uh, next time, guys. I'll see ya. Tell me what you think of this bike. I think I got a pretty smoking deal on her. So until next time, see ya.